What's up guys? Welcome to another Jumpstart gameplay video. Uh, I am very much enjoying this format. I've been playing the heck out of it uh, and really, really liking it. So what do we want to take? Let's take Feathered Friends. Let's let's try it. Do we want to double up on Feathered Friends? I, this has never been possible for me before. We have to. We have to do it. Feathered Friends squared is what we have got here, guys. So this is hopefully gonna be super consistent. Okay, Angel of the Dire Hour. Uh, wow, that's really sweet, holy crap. Uh, yes, love it, love it, love it. This is gonna be interesting. Um, we should theoretically have like the most consistent deck in the world. I'm into it, let's try it. I So I didn't even know that that was possible. I didn't know that you could get two of the exact same things, um, but I like it. And we're going to try it, and it's going to be fun. <laughs> All right. Uh, Mono White Feathered Friends Squared is what we are into today. Let's see what we can do. Um, this hand is very do-nothing for quite a while. Um, we're going to take a mulligan. This is better, much better, actually. This gives us a nice two into three. <clears throat> Uh, this is, like, just a really nice little backing card, in my opinion. Um, so I'm really excited. Oh, we got two of them, too. Oh, we've got two of them. I like it. I like it, I like it. Yeah, dude. Do it. Um, okay. Well, let's just throw one of these guys out there, and let's attack. Might as well. Why not? Um... If they attack, we'll just block the white here. Um, no reason to block this and discard a card. It's two damage. We're in the two damage race already, so that's fine. That's very good. Okay, let's do this. And... Hmm. So I really want to just play out another battlement. Um, but I do think we kind of need to play something here that can actually kill something. <laughs> um... So, we're going to do this. Uh, make sure this doesn't have reach. It does not. And then we'll attack for two. All right. That might stave off more of an attack by the opponent, which is part of why I'm doing that. Um, they can still hit for three if they'd like, uh, which is not great, but it's not the end of the world. Um, and we do have swift response here as a way to, to kind of knock some stuff down here if we'd like. So, I don't know. It's pretty clean. Uh, let's see what they do. That was the weirdest... That sounded like a fart. Like, 100% that sounded like a fart. Uh, Alright. That's pretty good. Chupacabra, man. Such a good card. Uh, let's play this. Let's play this out there. And let's play... I don't know if we should kill the white. Probably, right? Because that just becomes a 3-3 if we kill this. Um, Let's attack. Alright. We have the Gaggle Master next turn. Oh, mean. That was terrible. Oh, that was a sad day. Um, all right, let's do this, and let's do this. We'll take five. Uh, we kind of just need things. That's a thing. Let's get you in. All right. We'll see what happens. Um, we still are going to take a butt ton of damage here, no doubt. But... They do have to kind of be worried about the crackback. I mean, it's a pretty big hit back. Um, granted, they can't do anything about it anyway. Like, they, it's flying. So, like, only so much you can do. Uh, we do get to block this now, and it doesn't really matter. We don't have a card to discard. <laughs> All right. Oh, not good. Not good at all. Um, do we attack is the question. Excuse me, is the question. I'm going to say with one, yes. Um, we can still live. Don't love this, though. Not going to lie. We needed to leave this up for sure, but I don't love this. There's a world where we should have left everything up, so that way we could double block one of these two twos. Um, but I don't think it's... Uh, I don't think it's terribly inefficient to get a few damage in all right yep uh you uh you do we block this 
I'm gonna say no and be very daring. I don't believe this is necessarily correct, but we'll see. Uh, the reason I'm doing this, by the way, there is a world where we draw just like a pump spell and we, or not, um, and we can actually just win, but I think we just lose now, right? We can't attack, really. They just get to swing in with everything. Yeah, I'm just going to concede. We don't have enough blockers. Uh, they've got five things. They only need to deal one damage. We've got four things. So let's move on to game two. Didn't get there in game one. That's okay. I like that we get to double up on some stuff, though. That's kind of fun. Uh, the I, I will say this. Uh, in theory, the downside to doing what we're doing, which is to do two of the exact same packs... Uh, the upside is consistency, so obviously you know you're going to get the same thing multiple times, which can be helpful. Uh, but the downside, uh, first of all, do we keep this? This isn't super exciting, um, but let's try it. Um, the downside is uh, all of the weaknesses that you have in the pack are not made up for by pack two. Uh, and so you're going to have issues with a deck like this. Um, and I think that's fine. You know, it happens. Uh, all right. Sure. Yep. Yep. I'm not going to waste the swift response quite yet. I uh, don't think that there's a need to. Um, let's play this out there. In general, I like to lead with a card that I can attack with and then play the Battlement. Um, just because then you're in a position where you actually get the buff and hold off some of these attackers. For instance, they didn't attack with this as an example. Uh, do, do, do. Let's see. Hmm. Interesting. Let's attack in. I'm hesitant to use the Sky Tether yet. Um, I don't know if that's correct or incorrect, but we're going to wait. Um, generally, these green decks, especially green white, they probably have some big stuff coming. Um, granted, this is big, but they're wasting mana on it is the important thing. Um, they're putting time and effort into making it a bigger card, and that's the problem. Uh, or that's what we kind of want them to do, excuse me. Um, because then, you know, obviously it's not really all that exciting, but land is good. Uh, we can just kill it, uh, which I do actually like. Let's just kill it. Um... Let's see. Let's see what they do. I doubt that they will block. Uh, and if they do, that's actually kind of fine. Uh, sure. I'm going to get a 4-4 flyer out of the deal. So I'm fine with that. Um, and then we, now that they've invested mana, we just do this. All right. Theoretically, that worked. Um, don't know if that really worked, but theoretically it did. Oh, that's terrible. Okay. Yeah, you got me. Um, we'll just play this out. Yeah. <laughs> Our battlement gets flying. How useful. Wow, such a good card. Okay, yeah. Great. They can pump it up again if they would like. Uh, it doesn't look like they're going to, but they can. Um, I think we'll just play the Gaggle Master. Gain a couple life back. Um, then we get to swing in here. This cannot block it, worth noting. All right. Um, when they attack, we get to next turn, we'll get to swift response to this, um, which isn't amazing, but it is, you know, something that we just kind of need to do, I think. Wow, that's very good. Uh, we're going to say no blocks. Ooh, hold on. 
Huh. That's also very good. Um, oh, it has Vigilance. Oh, goodness, I'm an idiot. Uh, well, in that case, let's just play this guy out there. All right. I mean, yeah, let's see what we can do. Um, we do have the win next turn, theoretically. Um, we move to attacks here. Let's be, I guess, safe. Um, just save ourselves that damage. Um, but if they can't deal with these flyers, and this doesn't really help them deal with flyers, then we're actually fine. If that's all they're playing, then I feel great. Yeah, dude. Get your cat out there. Ooh, boss ray cat. Very good, but I don't think that's not going to do it. Uh, we, sh of course, knew they were playing these lands, so obviously they had it, but man. That's fine. Good game. <clears throat> Look at that. We actually got there. That was sweet. Uh, this card is stupid good. Um, nice. All right. Well, we got a win. Let's see what card we get. Uh, I really love the like reward system, though I wish it would continue past just two cards. Really? We got a Bog Brew Witch? Ugh. Um, Alright, last game with this deck. Let's see what we can do. Um, Feathered Friends Squared is very interesting, as it turns out. Um, don't know. I, I don't think I would recommend doing two of the same packs, generally speaking. Um, but, you know, it's kind of fun to try some stuff out, so that's fine. Uh, we've got a lot of Sky Tether here, which is not terrible. Um, and then we've got a four. Uh, I don't love it. I wish we had a little more action in the beginning, but let's try it. Uh, we do have a couple late game kind of things, or mid to late game kind of things, so feel better about that. Wow, a second Gaggle Master. We do blue, it doesn't matter. Okay. Uh, getting all the land. Uh, we'll do blue again. Uh, worth noting, in a situation like this, it's important that you be consistent with whatever color you name. Um, just to give them the thought of like, okay, what do I have to worry about? Um, and keeping it consistent means that there's more likely a, a shot that they're going to think, oh, okay, I actually do have to worry about X, whatever X is. Um, and so I would recommend being consistent with whatever second color you name. There is obviously the rainbow option. So like there is a world where... Um, that could uh, could be a problem, but I think that that's correct. Uh, well, first things first, let's attack. Let's just play the flyer. Don't need to give something flying, but we will. Um, and now if we draw a land, we're in great shape. If we don't draw a land, then we'll just play out the uh, Falconer Adept here. Um, and at some point we can sky tether, but I think right now we're in the business of just playing out our own threats. Sure. That's fine. Ooh, that's good. Yeah, sky tether is going to be great on that. Um, and I do think even in this situation, I think sky tether is probably going to be the right call. Let's go ahead and play that. Then let's play the falconer adept and then let's attack in. Uh, and what's great about this is we can attack in with this, get another bird, and then play a Gaggle Master, uh, which is just essentially a uh, a free kind of thing. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's do that. We'll see. They they may have a combat trick here, and that's fine, but we get the bird. Uh, yeah. They just get a free block here, which is fine. This has Defender, actually. That was a bit of a mistake, but that's cool. We could kill it. Nah, that's fine. We lose it. But we get a flyer, and that's what's important. So now we've got Gaggle Master. Um, gain 8 life. Unless they bounce a thing, which they very easily can do. They are in blue. Um, but Gaggle Master is super good. And we've got two of them <laughs> in hand. <laughs> uh, and this one, obviously, if nothing changes, uh, we gain 10 life off of it, which is really good. Okay. play this um we're gonna sky tether the archon 
Um, and we're going to play another Gaggle Master. <laughs> Uh, this still can gain them quite a lot of value, so it's not necessarily the best play, but um, I think we're in a position now where it's like, okay, let's just let's get in for as much as we can. Yep, there we go. Lock them out. Awesome. Uh, well, we got two wins with it. That was not bad. Uh, I think that's about, you know, given the best plays possible, I think you can usually expect a 2-1 uh, kind of outcome. Ooh, Goblin Chieftain. Very nice. All right. Uh, and we got a lot of stuff. I like it. Guys, thank you so much for watching. This has been Feathered Friends Squared, uh, which, again, is the first time we've been able to do that, but I really enjoyed it. Uh, don't know that I'd recommend it, but, you know, in your own in your own time, try it out. See what you think. So hopefully you enjoyed this one. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you very soon in another Jumpstart video.